guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are giving my catch-all planner, which is a disc-bound planner. Not a happy planner, but just a disc-bound planner. Uh, this is my custom planner that I have kind of curated and I am absolutely in love with it. The only thing I don't love right now are my discs because they're pretty plain. I had my beautiful bat discs from Muse Lab on this planner, but I started, this, this planner started getting kind of thick, like she was getting kind of thick, so I needed expander discs. So anyway, that's where we're at. They're fine. They're just kind of plain. But I've been feeling a little bit like, you know, sometimes you just get a little tired of the way your planner looks every day. Like you feel like it just needs something fresh. Um, I'm still completely in love with this dashboard. This isn't an issue. Um, but I'm feeling a little bit over some other things in here. I just, you know, I've seen it so much. I see it every day. And it's just, I, I feel like I need something new. I need, I just need something new going on. And I have the perfect thing. Are y'all ready? Bam. Are you ready? Bam. Are you ready? Dude. I'm so excited. I am so excited to decorate my planner with these bad boys. So I'm going to kind of walk through this with you guys, explain where these are from, how I made them, all that stuff and then kind of decide what I want to change up because I still want to keep some things that are in here. I don't want to take everything out, but I just want to kind of add some new stuff. And something I do want to do is, you know, every day I open my planner and this is what I see. I love it. I love my, my washi dashboard, but I just want to kind of change it up a little bit. So I want to put one of these right in the front because I have this clear cover. I've talked about it a million times, but if you're new to my channel, uh, first of all, welcome. Thanks for being here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not. Um, but this clear cover is from Cloth and Paper, and I've just decorated it with some decals, most from Honeybee Shop, other than the Last of Us Part 2 ones. Um, I just really want to kind of give it a new, a new face. Oh, I'm so excited. So let me start by explaining what I've got going on here. Okay. So if you've been on my channel before, you have heard me talk about the Honey Bee Shop and how much I love the Honey Bee Shop. Just completely, I cannot say enough good things about the Honey Bee Shop. I am not sponsored by the Honey Bee Shop. I, I just really love them. That's why I talk about them all the time. And the owner, Shan, is so amazing. I feel like we would be like true, like real life BFFs. And she's an amazing artist. And her whole team is amazing. Um, it's a small family business. It's her sister and her mom and her. And she, they they all, they're just amazing ladies that just, they make this happen. So recently, very recently, Honey Bee Shop dropped a new release. And this collection is called Fight Like a Girl or flag abbreviated um and so i bought a few things from the collection now i obviously would have loved to buy the entire thing but i'm saving up money for some you know a pretty big purchase right now so i'm really tight on my planner budget so i bought a few things one of the things i bought was the digitals pack it was five dollars and you get a whole bunch of digitals from the fight like a girl collection and I thought this would be perfect because that way I can make my own dividers. I can, you know, I can print them out as stickers. I can print them out and cut them up and put them in my journal. There's so many things I can do with digitals and I can just keep printing them. I have a decent printer at home. Um, I shouldn't say decent. It's, it's pretty good. I love my printer. You know, it's, it's old, but I think these look pretty amazing. I don't know what, about you. I have a laminator. Um, and so that's why I bought a few of the digitals. And so what I did was I took the digitals and I just created a document. I used Canva just to make it simple. I created a document and sized it as seven inches long and 9.25 inches tall. That is the classic happy planner size. And that is the size of a nine disc disc mount planner. Um, and so I just dropped the backgrounds into there. And then I also had purchased the digitals for 
this is a die cut, the Fight Like a Girl playlist. And then I put this on the other side. This is another one of the pattern papers. So what I did, because I couldn't get my printer to exactly like, I was trying to print on one side and then load the paper in again and print on the other side and use one sheet. I was having issues with it lining up and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna print on individual sheets. So this is one sheet of paper and this is one sheet of paper. And I just used a little glue stick in the center to hold them together and then I ran them, I put them in a laminating pouch and ran it through the laminator. Um, so that's how I made these. And so this one was another pattern paper from the Fight Like a Girl collection, so it was that. And then this one, and this was another digital die cut. All I did was put a white stroke around it because I also had printed this as a sticker. And then I had this on the other side. So this Fight Like a Girl collection, if you can't tell, is heavily uh, Sailor Moon inspired. And I, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and admit that I have not watched Sailor Moon since I was a child. I remember liking it a lot as a young girl. I have not watched it and I really want to because from the little bits that I've seen as an adult, you know, it's kind of nostalgic because I remember watching it as a kid, but I need to just sit down and watch it and I feel like this will inspire me to do that. But the other thing is that this artwork is so gorgeous. I feel like you don't need to be a Sailor Moon fan to to enjoy this collection. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Like, for real? So yeah, that's just a little bit on, on those. And then these other two dividers. I am so, so excited about these. So this one actually, you can, under these lights, you can kind of see through it. I had tried to print, I printed this, and then I tried to reload the paper and print this on the other side of the same sheet. Had some issues, but didn't want to waste the paper so I just did that. You can't really tell unless it's under the lights. So these designs are from Magical Plans so if you don't follow Magical Plans on Instagram it's magical underscore plans I believe. I'll correct myself on the screen if I'm wrong um, and I will also I'm gonna put a link to the Honeybee shop in the description as well as the link to uh, Magical Plans Etsy shop. I do have a code, full disclosure, for Honey Bee Shop that will give you 15% off of your purchase. I also get a little kickback if you use my link, not monetarily, but in points. And so when you get points with Honey Bee Shop, or bees they're called, um, you can use them to get a percentage off of your next purchase. So if you would like to use my link, I would absolutely love that. If you aren't comfortable, just go to honeybeeshop.com. But these are from Dana from Magical Plans, and Dana launched her shop pretty recently. And I've been wanting to order some things. Like I said, my planner budget is very small right now. But she had some digitals and they were $2 a piece. And I said, you know what? I can support Dana with these digitals. And so I bought these pattern papers. I bought one in black and one in pink. And then I bought two digital die cuts. So we have the pink one and the black one. Hot ghoul summer. I mean, when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I need that. I, I need that in my life. And then I just put the pattern papers on the back. They're so adorable. You've got ghosts, dinosaurs, bats. I mean, this is like, I, this is like so me. I, I love it so much. So that is what I printed to use in my planner today. And I'm so excited. But now the issue is, how do I decide which one to put in the front? So I'm actually leaning toward either this one or this one. I think since this one is a little bit messed up, I'm going to do this one. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. If you think I need to rearrange any of these after I've gotten it done. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I'm kind of like, this is stupid, but I'm kind of like, it's not technically summer yet. So do I really want to put that there yet? I kind of want to do this one. I'm kind of, or... Ooh, actually, once it hits summer, then I'm going to put that in the front. But I'm just, I'm weird about that kind of thing. I think I'm going to just wait until it's actually summer. Um, I think this is going to, oh, yeah. That's it. That's the one. That is the one. I love it. All right, we're going to keep that there in the front. I'm going to move my washi dashboard. I want to keep this. So this sheet, I pulled out of this. I got this at Michael's on clearance. 
and this is from Capital Chic Designs and it's just a reusable, wait a second. Oh my God, this has pouches in the back? Shut up, I didn't know that. Okay, well, now I know. Anyway, so it just has a bunch of reusable sticker paper in it. So you just use it to store stickers and that's what it is. Um, sometimes it can be kind of difficult to get stickers off of this paper. I've kind of had that issue with every reusable sticker paper I have ever tried, but it does work. It's just, you have to be kind of careful, but basically I pulled a sheet out of that, trimmed it down and punched it so I could put it in my planner just to kind of have some stickers on hand if I, you know, so I don't have to like carry sticker books and stuff around with me. I just have a few things here to kind of hold me over. This is, I, in my flip through video, I did a, um, a full flip through of this planner pretty recently. I explained this, but this is a little book that my niece Kendall made for me. So I always keep that there. This is a nice piece of acetate from Honeybee Shop. And then I have this really pretty piece of vellum. And this is a printable, a free printable from shawnaklingerman.com. And I've been struggling because it's, it's layered over this. And I kind of don't like that. I wonder, would that, ooh. Or even, I could layer it over that. I don't think that because it's got the words. So it's really only these that are an option. I think I might do the washi dashboard here. This washi is from Honeybee. So these two are from Honeybee Shop. And then this one is from Cookie Sticker Co. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that. All right. And then we have this little Archer and Olive Values Workbook. This is a free printable from their website. I have a folder here. I'm kind of over it. If I'm being honest, I'm over just the way it looks. Because, again, like you look at something over and over and you get kind of tired of it. Um, I just haven't gotten a new folder that's that's honestly all it is and I do like I do use it so I can't take it out I do have like extra die cuts in here I keep all kinds of stuff in here little loose sticker sheets and things like that so this I love the look of I think I'm gonna keep this piece of vellum layered over top of this I really really like this dashboard but I think I'm gonna move it I think I'm just gonna move both of these together not sure where yet so this is my monthly section and I think I want I think I want this one for the monthly section and this tab is a reusable tab from Avery I got this uh, at Walmart Queen told me about these tabs they are absolutely beautiful they're repositionable I have moved this thing so many times. It it's amazing. You can you can use it for so many different things and you just keep reusing them over and over. Uh they're really pretty and then these monthly tab stickers I actually made myself and they're just on some clear sticker paper. So I think yeah, I think that's really cute. I want to use that for the monthly. And then the weekly, I did this not too long ago. So this is from the um, Crafty at Heart Honeybee Shop Babe Box. It's the subscription box from Honeybee Shop. I did this not too long ago and I really like it. But I kind of just want to move it. I kind of don't want it to be the weekly. And then this little adhesive pouch here is from the Disney, tat the Tattoo Disney Babe Box. It was pretty recent. So I think... I'm going to do, for the weekly, I think I'll do this one. Or, no, this one. Yes, it's so cute. And then I want to make sure these line up. So I'm just going to kind of do that. Highly recommend these tabs. You can get them at Walmart. I'm sure you can get them at Target, uh, Amazon, wh wherever they are amazing and they were not very expensive at all oh my god so cute okay this i really like this i made this 
but I'm just kind of tired of looking at it like where it's been if that makes sense so I'm going to put it here in the back here maybe I can make this to signify I have a random tab on here I think I'm going to use this to signify so this is my reusable planner layout shameless plug I do have a video on my channel I did this for a video I think for plan miss in December um, I did a video on how I made this reusable layout and how I use it I will definitely put that in the cards and in the description I think I'm just gonna put this here to kind of like separate that from the other loose paper and then I have a random uh, black parade thing back here and a random dashboard I do really like this dashboard but I think I'm just gonna keep it right where it's at I got something on it. I don't, y'all, I don't know. So let's see. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back, back to the beginning. You know what? That's kind of cute. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, snap. So something I've been wanting to do, I need to get another tab but I want to so I've been signifying where my current week is with this little thing which is a just it's just a little snap-in ruler I got this at uh, Staples I think yeah Staples and I kind of want to just use one of these dashboards to signify where my current week is so we're, we're pretty much on this next week here so I'm going to put this here and I'm gonna go back and get one of these holographic tabs and I'll make, um, I'll make another sticker to put on it that just says today or something. But for now, remember how I had that, uh, remember how I had that random tab back here? For now, we're going to take that so I remember to do it. And I'm going to put this tab on the top. And then it'll just say, you know, today. And then I can use that because honestly, I haven't really been using this ruler. I I will use it eventually, but it was really for when I was doing like Bujo layouts where I was drawing them myself. And now I'm really just kind of using inserts. So I'm gonna take this out for now. I just have not been using it. So there's no point in keeping it in there. So then this is gonna signify the current week. So little recap. As of now, we have this as the front. We have this here, kind of just as decoration. I like all the layers. We have this for the monthly, this for the weekly, this to signify the day, and then this is the extra paper in the back. I think I want to take this one out. I really, it's beautiful. I just want to kind of rotate through them. I'm just kind of over this right now, honestly. But I wonder if I could get this tab, if I could reuse this. Not tab, pocket. Let's see if it sticks. I believe it does. Yeah, I had ripped this, so that's why I had that piece of washi there. I ripped it one day, I was so upset. Okay, I think that'll work. And so, just need to grab that tab off of there. Oh, Jesus. Paper's flying. All right. Again, we're just going to kind of line this up. There we go. Oh, that is so pretty. All right, so this one we're going to, we're not saying bye to it. We're just saying see you later. I have a drawer where I keep these as I kind of like cycle through them. This I am going to eventually use in the front. For now, I'm just going to put it in the back. I think we're going to take this out for now too. I'm just, again, I'm kind of tired of looking at it. So I'm going to put it in that same drawer and I'm going to put this in the back. And now all we have to do is find a place for this 
unless we want to put this away, but I don't think I can because I do really love it. Um, we could make that the currently page instead of the washi dashboard. Let's just see what that looks like. I feel like this vellum has to be with it. It's like, it's together. I don't know y'all. So this would basically be like signifying what week I'm on, but then I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to pull it out all the time because I need to see the whole thing usually. I don't know guys, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling a little, you know what, you know what, you know what, hold up, vellum, right, because then we can see through, it's not like, it's not as heavy to move, it's not as hard to move, I think we're gonna do that, I think we're gonna just use the vellum, but I still, I gotta, this has to stay in here, it's, it's too pretty, it's too pretty, oh, I know, I did want, to break up so i have these these inserts are from lights planner action by the way so i have these inserts from lights planner action and then i have the blackout inserts from lights planner action and i needed a divider and will you look at that and it's black see everything works out oh yeah that's that's perfect that kind of breaks those two up and then we have these blackout inserts which are oh, they're absolutely beautiful this needs to stay in here. Even if it goes in the back, let's kind of flip through again. It could, it could just go here. Like it, I mean, I don't want to move this pocket. <clears throat> let's see, let's see if we can. So it did rip. But that is actually a really easy fix. Okay, so that's the front, that's the back. How do I put this on a different? I might put this. I really want it right there, if I'm being honest. Here, let's see if we can. Y'all, I don't know what kind of paper Shan uses for these die cuts, but it's some durable paper. Because the fact that that didn't rip. All right, we're going to put this right in the center. Approximately the center. If we just tape this side and I have some clear washi right here. You know what? I even have the Disney washi right here. And then I just use this pocket to hold little die cuts and little papers and, you know, it's nice to have a, a cute little pocket. Awesome. And now the whole point of that was that I wanted this front to be clear for that to layer over top of. And I think that's really cute. And then we just have the washi dashboard. You know what, y'all? We're gonna put it here in front of the folder because why not? I don't have another space for it. And I think that works. So, okay, let's, let's go back. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's go all the way to the beginning. Let's close the beautiful Cardinal Planners cover. Open her up. We have clear cover from Cloth and Paper. Oh my god. We have the Fight Like a Girl playlist. And then we have the and then we have the wand on the back. We have our reusable sticker sheet, a book from my niece, acetate, vellum, crafty at heart, washi dashboard, folder monthly then we have weekly 
Then we have blackout inserts. Paper. Reusable player layout. And then this is in the back and we're gonna pop this in once it's actually summer and then we'll move this somewhere else. And then don't forget for our weekly, we have the vellum. I am very happy with that. I feel a lot better. I'm so excited now to open up my planner. Sometimes you really just need to see something new. You need something fresh because it does, when you look at the same thing every day, it gets kind of old. That is why I love a disc bound or ring bound system is because you can customize it and you can change it. You can change the cover. I love my passion planner so much. Like I really love it. That's my social media planner. I love it, but I do get tired of the cover. I'm just going to be honest. I get tired of it. I get tired of having the same thing. This I can change whenever. And that's what I really like about this. And that is why my catch all is always going to be either disc bound or ring bound. Maybe one day I'll switch to ring bound. But for now, I have discs. I have everything punched. I don't really see myself moving away from that. I like discs. They work very well for me. And there are very cute discs that are sold. Um, Muse Lab has some really cute ones. I just, I'm struggling a little bit because I need expanders. And it's hard to find really cute expanders other than just like Happy Planner with the hearts. But I'm not really, I'm, I'm over that, so... Right, so that, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked the result. Let me know in the comments. And let me know, did you buy anything from the Fight Like a Girl collection from Honeybee Shop? Because y'all, if anything, if you didn't get anything or if you don't have the money for anything, if you only have $5, get the digital pattern papers because, oh my gosh. And now a little spoiler alert. The next thing I'm going to do is give my B6TN, so my gray one, it's like my catch-all one. I use it for journaling, scrapbooking, and memory keeping, mood tracking, even though I've been really falling off on that and need to get back on it. And then there's that brush lettering guide that came in one of the bait boxes. I call that kind of my catch-all traveler's notebook. I don't really know what else to call it because I have three traveler's notebooks. I'm going to be uh, giving that a facelift as well because I'm just running into the same thing where I'm tired of looking at the same thing. And I have these papers from past bait boxes and I want to use them. They're so cute and I think they'll look really great in that. And this is, oh my God, it's adorable. Look at the babe liners. Come on. So yeah, spoiler alert, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not. Turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Planning with Cass. Check out my podcast, Pixels and Planners. I have a Patreon in the description. I have all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> Facebook page, all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for watching for hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed i hope this inspires you to do something fun in your planner no matter what planner you have and let me know if you have any questions and i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you next time bye